Writer Stanley Crouch has observed that E Pluribus Unum, the motto for the seal of the United States, could also refer to the drum set. Out of many, one. The consolidation of the drums is a perfect metaphor for the consolidation of our states. Ironically, with the exception of Congo Square and Louisiana, it was illegal for slaves to play drums in this country. And this was a crushing blow. Music and dance were their principal methods of communication besides speaking. And these people were brought here in a jumble from all over West Africa, Mande, Congo, Yoruba. The only thing they had in common was a basic rhythm. And that rhythm was a lifeline to their personhood. So in America, the slave communicated with anything that could create percussive sound. Bones, quills, triangles, sticks. And if nothing was allowed, they used their bodies. This was called patent juba, or ham boning. We happen to have one of the world's great juba patterns from Detroit, Mr. Ali Jackson. Juba up and juba down, juba going all around the town. Juba jump, juba sing, juba gon' cut that pigeon wing. <laughs> juba kick off this soul shoe, juba gonna juba low, juba this, juba that. You were gonna get that yellow cat. since the time of the Revolutionary War, the field drum was the lead percussion instrument in America. And it evolved. Okay, you got the field drum for me. I didn't know you was gonna do that. <laughs> it evolved into the snare drum. Traditional marching bands have separate sections, cymbals, tom-toms, snare drums, and bass drums. The African rhythmic concept merged with the marching band concept to create an American drum style. Now here comes people in New Orleans attaching a cymbal to a bass drum to accompany the snare drum. One drummer loses a job. But it's feeling much better. Now here comes high society ballroom gigs where dancers want the pizzazz of percussion and the bass drum is needed to give the bottom more body and punch. Drummers appear seated with snare and bass drum, cymbal and wood blocks and other special effects. There's two more drummers out of work. The drumming is becoming a difficult job. Band leaders notice that the drummer has one foot free. <laughs> so two small cymbals called a low boy are assembled on a foot stand. A standing cymbal is added to provide higher register balance to the low pitch bass drum. And there goes another job. Then Joe Jones of the Count Basie organization raises the low boy to elbow height and the sock cymbal was born. Now you have something to do with all four limbs and drummers all over the world are going crazy.
The drum set was the first bona fide American musical instrument. Ali Jackson. It was, it was a practical and ingenious assembly. The drummer fulfilled a role that would have taken three or four people in African music and an entire section of a marching band. And when the drum set became the rhythmic center of passion in American music, an African identity was inextricably woven into the fabric of American culture. 